another edition of Lube Tips by Flow Components. On today's episode, we're going to review some of the questions you should be asking whenever you source an automatic greasing system. With more on that, we go to Mike. Mike? Thanks, Gabriel. The first step in, in sourcing a lube system is to determine what best suits your need, either a progressive operated lube system or a parallel operated lube system. Next question you ask yourself is, does the lube system that you're looking at include a pressure gauge right here into the main line? The pressure gauge acts as your sight into the main line as far as the operation as well as troubleshooting the lube system. Another question to ask is, what is the feed line and supply lines material? Are they standard hydraulic hose with NPT threads that are quite common and readily available? And do they have swivel ends to help you in, in troubleshooting as well as assembly, priming and flushing. Next question you should ask yourself is, does my system have a high pressure grease filter located on the main line outside of the pump before your metering valves? This will reduce contamination and possible system failure. Next question you should ask is, does your loop system include high pressure grease fittings for each individual point? as we see in this valve here as well as on the injectors here. Those help you prime flush lines and aid in troubleshooting as well. Another question to be asked is regarding the pump package itself. Is it 12 24 volt DC electrically operated which allows you to install the system without having to tap into the hydraulics or the compressed air lines on the machine? Does the reservoir have a revolving paddle or follower plate? on top of the grease. Using the revolving paddle gives you indication as well as allows you to pump heavier greases at colder temperatures. A follower plate, constant pressure getting into heavier greases and colder temperatures could result in pump cavitation. Another question to be asked is if there is guarding and steel tubing installed on the lube system. As you can see by this picture, ideally if you could have steel tube with guarding over top and standard compression fittings, this makes your system readily field serviceable in case of problems, lines breakage or blockage. By contrast, the use of super tube or welding the steel lines right onto the booms or your structures will make it very difficult for field serviceability because now welding, torches and grinders are required. In conclusion, there are a number of loop systems and loop system suppliers out there. Hopefully by us presenting these questions to you, we'll give you some information on the questions to be asked when sourcing loop systems so that you can ensure you're comparing apples to apples. Thanks, have a good day. Back to you Gabriel. Thanks for that Mike. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. For more information and tips, check out our website flowcomponents.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.